Hi and welcome. Want to know how to use this to log in to this? Then stay tuned. Let's get started. Before we do, I just want to confirm that the supported YubiKeys you can use to log into Windows with are YubiKey 5 FIPS series, YubiKey FIPS 4 series, legacy devices, YubiKey 5 series and YubiKey 4 series. The YubiKeys that are not supported are Security Key series, YubiKey Bio series and YubiKey HSM series. So please bear that in mind before you continue. So once you've verified that, you need to go to the Ubico website page, which is www.ubico.com. Then once you are on the web page, you need to go to support and downloads. Then once you're in the downloads page, you need to go to computer login tools and click explore options. Then you need to go to download Ubico login for Windows 64 bit or download Ubico login for Windows 32 bit, depending on which system you have. As I have 64-bit version of Windows, I'm using Windows 11, I will download the Ubico login for Windows 64-bit. So click the link, it will ask you where you want to save the file to. Here I'm doing it to my NAS device in the downloads folder and click save. Then once it's saved, you can then proceed to close the Ubico website. Then, once you're in your downloads folder, you need to click the Ubico login for Windows file that you've just downloaded and double click it. Then click run and you should be presented with a Ubico login for Windows setup wizard screen. So once you have be presented with that, click next, tick to accept the terms of the license agreement, then click next again and it will ask you where the files will be installed to. Leave it as the default, click next and then click install. It takes just a few seconds to install and once it has been installed you can then click the finish then the system will ask you to restart your computer for the configuration changes to take effect. You can click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart later. So here I'm going to click yes to restart my system and I'll be right back once the system has restarted. Now what I did was restart my PC then when the PC had been restarted I was presented with a login page but it also said YubiKey login for Windows. Here instead of being presented with just the password box I was presented with a request for my username and password so I entered my Windows username and password and then it took me straight to my regular Windows desktop. Then from my start menu I selected from the list of applications there's a folder called Ubico. Within that folder there is a program called login configuration and this is what I have just clicked on and have been presented the window that you can see here. So I will click next. 
then from the next screen that appears leave it as set as default as slot 2 under the slots section then under the challenge response secret we need to generate new random secret so that is the second option you need to select and you also need to make sure that generate recovery code is ticked and also that create backup device for each user is unticked however if you are configuring two Yubi keys at the same time you will need to make sure that create backup device for each user is actually ticked and not unticked I'm unticking it because I'm only using one YubiKey at the moment so once you have checked all those options click next then put a tick next to the user accounts that you would like to have the YubiKey configured against for logging in purposes and then click next now it's saying configuring user Tim which is a primary user and the YubiKey has been detected because I've already inserted the YubiKey into a, a free USB slot it's also reporting the serial number and also the two configuration slots which have not been configured because the key is actually blank and it's also saying now at the bottom that this YubiKey is ready for programming and it will generate a new secret key and it will be written to the target slot which we selected in the previous selection screen which was slot 2 so we can now click next to provision the device for the current user which we've selected and which to confirm is Tim and which is the only and primary user on this PC so click next it will then say programming device please remove your YubiKey to continue so the YubiKey is now being removed and then as soon as the YubiKey has been removed it's now generated a recovery code please make sure that you note this recovery code down somewhere safe I would recommend printing it on paper and keeping it somewhere safe as if you are unable to access your computer because of any issues then you will not be able to retrieve the recovery code for you to be able to log into your PC so make sure you print or write this recovery code down so for the moment I'm going to select save to file which is the icon at the right side of the recovery code and it's the one with the little blue arrow as you can see here so I will click that and save this file to a safe place on my PC and then I will be printing it out straight away before we go to any further steps so now I'm accessing the file as you can see here which is called Tim 2023 recovery so I'll open that file in notepad plus plus and then I will select file and print now you can probably hear in the background that my printer is now printing out the recovery code which I can confirm it has done and I will be keeping that in a very safe place in case it's ever required in an emergency to access the PC so I will close the browser window and then we'll go back to the Ubico login for Windows configuration confirm that we have printed off the recovery code we can then proceed to click next Ubico login has been configured for your system users that have been configured will require a YubiKey to log in interactively press finish to exit so we will then select finish now that I've closed the Ubico authenticator login program for Windows 
I will now proceed to restart my PC as you'll hopefully be able to see on the camera. So I'll select the restart option. At the moment I haven't inserted this Yubi key as you will see here but once I'm prompted to do so I will do that. So I'm just waiting for my PC to restart now. Now that I've been prompted with my login screen, which at the moment just shows the clock and the date, I will now proceed to press the enter key and I'm now presented with Ubico login and it's asking for my username and password. So here I will enter my usual Windows username and password and select enter and it's now asking for me to please insert your YubiKey and try again. So I will now insert the YubiKey and click OK. And it's now asking me again for my username and password which I will re-enter and select enter. And now it's logged me straight in to my Windows desktop as it normally would. As you can see, I can only log in with the YubiKey inserted into a free USB slot on my PC. Without this, it will not allow me to log in. However, there is an emergency procedure which you can do should your key fail to work. And that is when you log in, there is an option. If your YubiKey is not available, you can then proceed and you should be able to enter the recovery key that we printed out a short while ago. This will then allow you to recover your PC in case of any technical issues and be able to then log into your PC as normal and fix any problems with the YubiKey. For completeness, what I'm going to do is use the recovery key to log into my Windows PC as if I didn't have a YubiKey available or it was faulty. So for this step I will restart my PC as normal. Hopefully you can see this OK on camera. Obviously I can't use uh, my usual recording method from OBS Studio as my PC is actually being restarted. But hopefully you can see what I mean from the camera. I'm just waiting for the PC to restart now and I'm now presented with the usual time and date. Then I'll select enter and here you'll see an option underneath the username and password box for lost your YubiKey. So I will select that option and I've now been presented with not only a username and password box but between those two there's also a recovery code box. So here I will enter my usual username and then for the recovery code I will enter the recovery code that we printed out earlier on in this video. And here you can see it actually worked. The recovery key worked perfectly and logged me straight into my Windows desktop. So when I restart my PC in future, it will ask me for the YubiKey as normal. Thanks for watching.